Hey Raptors, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. We're doing a little midweek maintenance today. We got some Amazon packages in the mail, which they seem like they are always coming in these days. Uh, we're going to add a new miner to the farm and we're going to talk a little bit about some rig safety. And what would that be about? Well, I got a story to tell you. We'll talk about that next. Here we go. All right, let's get this first one opened up. Oh, yes, there we go. It is the next 1660 Ti that's going into the farm. Excited to get this in today. Let's go get it placed, figure out where we're gonna put everything. Okay guys, so we got the new Ventus 1660 Ti. Gotta figure out where to put this thing. Since I started the YouTube channel, this has all gotten a little bit in shambles here. Um, I've got a couple other rigs and this is what I've been using for testing. So. I've actually got, this is a 1080 Ti down here, 1070. I've got another 1080 Ti I'm going to bring back into this farm uh, or this part of the farm down here. That'll put me with two 1080 Ti's, uh, one 1080, which I think is this guy, or it might be this one. I'd have uh, four 1070's. So I'm thinking, and I'd also have these two 1660 Ti's plus my newest one, plus I've got an EVGA 1660 uh, Ti upstairs, so that'll give me four 1660 Ti's. I'm thinking I may turn this into just the 1660 Ti rig. This is um, what I call rig 001. It's been super reliable for me. Um, it's operating completely off Wi-Fi. It has for over a year on Hive OS. Um, a lot of folks ask about Wi-Fi and mining, and um, at least for me, I've got pretty dense coverage it's been flawless. I've had zero issues with, uh, with mining via Wi-Fi. Um, and this has just been a super solid rig for me. So I may make this my 1660 Ti rig, move my 1080 Ti's up here to the hanging rig. So I'd have two 1080 Ti's, a 1080, and then four 1070's. I think that would group those closest together. Uh, this is also running on Hive OS. This has got a dual OS, so I can do uh, Hive when I drop in my USB. Um, or I've got an SSD tucked up under here that I can do uh, Windows on as well whenever I want to switch. So at the moment, it's Windows. It's doing awesome miner. I think this is mining Raven at the moment. Um, so let's get this card opened up and get it dropped into the rack. We need to get it get it mining. I'm excited. Here we go. Get up early when the sleeping pill wakes me. I take a wake up pill to fill with energy. I power on hard and I check my messages. But I don't have any messages. I take a driving pill and head to my car. I drive around the because work isn't very far. I call my phone and I check my Fantastic, and I never felt as good as how I do right now. Except for maybe when I think about how I felt that day, when I felt the way that I do right now. Right now, right, let's bring this power limit down, down to awesome miner. Start mining some Raven on Supernova T Rex. Okay, we got all three cards showing. Looks good. Up next. Oh, he's out carefully. Fire gone. Stops fires fast. Tundra. What do you know? This one stops fires fast as well. That's handy. Be very careful here. All right, there we go. 
So we got one larger fire extinguisher, two of the aerosol can based fire extinguishers, or at least that's what they look like. They actually have the flame retardant foam in there. Put this one in a central location and keep a couple next to the mining rigs. All right, so you may be wondering what's up with the fire extinguishers. We're talking about mining, right? Well, um, not too long ago, I actually had to fight a grease fire outside in the grill. And that can be a little bit scary when things get a little bit out of control and you're trying to get it in hand. And several years ago, I fought a kitchen fire, which again, it's pretty scary. And then recently, I saw the, uh, or I did the uh, mining accessories video. You can see this right here. This riser actually at some point had caught fire. But basically, if you look at it now, you can see where the fire singed the, uh, the uh, SATA connection, the SATA power connection. And, you know, there's nothing more important than your home safety, your family safety, and those sorts of things. And so the more I thought about it with those past experiences and then stuff like this happening, you know, we're pushing our video cards, we're overclocking them, we're pushing our home electric as home miners. It just makes sense to take some safety precautions. So a bunch of you probably have some fire extinguishers in the house, but in case you're wondering, that's why I got several different brands of the uh, top rated ones on Amazon, put them in the house, and I actually feel a little bit bad, a little bit of video remorse for not putting this in the accessories video uh, that I put out a few days ago, because, I mean, safety first, right? Um, I do take all the precautions necessary. I don't load anything up above 80% on any one power supply, and then anything at the wall. Nothing's above 80% at the wall. So uh, everything's platinum power supply. I recommend call a professional to begin with. Don't, don't mess around with any of this stuff. This channel is surely um, not financial advice. It's not mining advice. This is for entertainment only. The advice I will give you is call a professional on anything that is electric related. Um, or anything that involves your, your home or your family or anything like that. So that's the only advice you're going to get from me is be safe. But anyways, um, I'm going to place a couple of these beside my main uh, rack where I've got my mining rigs and then probably one with each rig anywhere else just to be safe. They're very inexpensive and there's kind of no reason not to, right? So we're going to get all that done here in the next couple days. We'll be doing some more maintenance. And then we may have a surprise or two for you coming up with, I don't want to give anything away, but uh, some new projects we're working on may be cool in the near future. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you in the next episode. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, that like button, please do so. This is a new channel and it, it really means a ton to us. It's very special to us. Anytime we get that notification, there's a new subscriber. So please hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.